This kick is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They fumbled the last time they had the football. Fortunate that it only led to a field goal. 3-0 to score as they start first and 10. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. But again, here's P. Ryan. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. First down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Dylan on the inside give. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. They run again with Dylan. And this time they're able to bottle him up as he'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Running left is Dylan. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. No, they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Looking to throw, Jones, and that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 38-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Now a carry for P. Ryan. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. They'll run again with P. Ryan. And he's 
brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. They'll run it here with Piron. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 14. 3 0 after one on EA Sports. on third down tonight. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Off the play fade. Jones. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. It's been a tough go for him. This guy's been driving down the field, but defensively, once he got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure. That's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive as we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped. So let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM, it always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. From the 17, Mahomes for Keenan Allen. That's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And this will wind up being a third and three. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and three. going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. And still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. Mahomes now to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. 
So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He finds his target, Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 22. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make him play on the football. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And it's caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Raiders have three and 10 now on the year. They were losers the last time out. Trying to get back in the win column, but obviously not an easy task here in a hostile environment. Yeah, always tough to win away from home. But sometimes what you do is you use these types of games as bonding experiences and carry that into the contest. Whipping one into Allen, that's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They'll run here with Connor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Keenan Allen, his ninth touchdown of the season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying, we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead grows to 10 0. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Takes it at the seven. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Now P. Ryan, and he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. That right there, a good side for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more, because that's how you end up not converting. 
Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Here's Piran. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more. And any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. 23 yards, the final tally. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Jones on first down. There's Trimble, the tight end. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll go to Piran, trying to pound it in. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Samaj Piran, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut it to three at 10 7. So just a three point game now as they send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And leading 10-7, they may just want to get this to the locker room. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Raiders gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he is gonna have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he just clocked it. But the clock wasn't even moving. Well, that's one you don't see very often. A wasted down. Now for what will 
likely be the last play of the first half. Final shot before the half from Mahomes. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going. So they've truly had the control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Mahomes now on first down. Allen's got it complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play call should get all the credit. Sometimes I'm thinking behind the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Steven Nelson. And the Pats will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football, hoping to drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give them the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their minds. But there's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. And he's got Rome. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run once more with Dillon. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll try the left side with Dillon. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Dillon, they try the left side with him. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Dillon will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. 
Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Dylan now on first and 10. The corner, Ronald Darby comes up to get him. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 22. 80 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. And that run going to put him over 100 yards now for the ball game as well. Yeah, he's really had his way so far, and that's just more of the same right here. All he needs, just a little crease, and off he goes. Point after try, forthcoming. It's good, and it's 21-10. Makes the score Patriots 21. Raiders 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 
Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes rolling to his left. Pass complete across the formation of Melton. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already, and it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7 yard line. He's tackled at the 7 yard line. That's a game of eight. Brings up third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Chris Godwin from 30 yards out. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Mahomes will throw for it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Tyus Bowser with a pick. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. We'll see a return here from the end zone. The Patriots take over first down 10 at their own 15 yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. 108 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the numbers go on. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. The last run got six, now second and four. Lock it in motion right. On second down and four, Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side 
and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. New England on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and four. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Jones. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. See, the end is just his second year in the league as a quarterback. But that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's going to have a throw it No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. He shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Here's a quick throw caught by Allen. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So second and four from the 22. They go play fake. Mahomes. And he's going to go down. He sacked back at the 24. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he's going to go down again. Kerry Hyder flying in and laying the lumber defensively. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the That kick, by the way, Charles, We did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance. So not a surprise. But there's still something exciting about it, carrying it over from practice and pregame actually doing it in live action. Fielded right around the eight. And makes it across the 20 as his guys were a set up shot at the 23 yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs keep possession of the football. Hey. 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run again with Dillon. And taken down just shy of the 40. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but works in play. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit out and running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Again, it's Dylan. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 132 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. They give to Dillon out of the gun. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. Running left is Dillon. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll run it here with Piron. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And now fall incomplete. We're seeing so far as a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front. The front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. Jones looking around. Shane Brown has got it. Touchdown, Patriots. Amon Ross St. Brown, 36 yards. And the Patriots are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. 
What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? This young quarterback continues to evolve and grow. He's really the adage right now that John Wooden, a famous basketball coach, used to say. Be quick, but don't hurry. You can see that everything is happening for him, but he's not taking it at a pace that he can't sustain. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that might just seal the deal here. Makes it a two-score game with not a lot of time on the clock. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Hello. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much when you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Mahomes. Hauled in on the out route by Melton. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Got the defense on their heels. Two first downs in a row and now a pickup of eight. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. The route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here, knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about it if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Here's Mahomes. He completes this to Russell Gage. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him over 3,000 yards passing now in the campaign. And Brandon, nowadays, your leader's usually closer to 5,000 yards on the year, but still, 3,000 yards, a good season. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Mahomes to throw it. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side and get that high high and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Mahomes will throw. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Steven Nelson. So the inability there to get the two-point conversion sort of leaves the door at least a little bit more ajar. And puts the onus now on the kickoff team and the defense to make sure they don't give up a big play that puts them in position to lose. Especially on this kickoff, got to be careful. 
They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Here's Jones to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It looks like a loss of way around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Jones. He rifles one that's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Pats are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. And Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to tie things up in the final minute. And his kick here is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So it's the Patriots who will have first crack at it as we're back underway here in overtime. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal, we continue play, but if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet. He's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and ten all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? start penalty and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down Jones, first throw of overtime here. Sliding out of the pocket. Out to the right, he gets it to Lockett. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage.
And they need five yards on third down here to keep this opening drive of OT alive. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. And the pressure there on third down, forcing the error pass. Fourth down coming up. The temptation to go for it probably there always is, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. Yeah, I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially play a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. Jones now throwing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. First throw of overtime for Mahomes. Got a man, it's Higby complete. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. So Can I make a scene like a movie feeling big? Keep it juicy before we start getting unruly. I've been hooping. 